Okay, it's a good idea to begin learning the names of the notes up and down your fifth and sixth string. They follow the alphabet. By the time we get to bar chords, you're going to need to know these. So begin to play whatever kind of game you have to to uh, learn the names of the notes at the position markers. Uh, realize that like your A string, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, it starts all over again. E, F, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C. So begin learning these. Uh, and I've drawn a diagram that shows you the names of the notes on your fifth and sixth strings and a picture of a piano and where those notes are on the piano. So you can put the two together visually. Um, note that when you look at the diagram of the piano, the black notes represents the sharps and flats. All of the white notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all of the white notes are non-sharp, non-flat notes just by their name. Okay? So take a look at this. Begin working on this by a memorization. And I don't usually ask people to memorize things very often because it doesn't work. Uh, you need to start using these before you really know them. But the process for really knowing them is to begin to memorize them so you can start to use them when we get there then as you use them, you'll know them, okay? So this is a good place to start rather early on so you're prepared by the time we get to our bar chords, okay?